RAID stands for Redundant Array of Independent Disks. And so what I'm going to do is actually take this stuff out so that I can show you kind of that layout. So we'll start that way. This is a RAID controller card, which most motherboards actually have RAID built in nowadays. So if you've got your uh, SATA connections right here, you can run RAID over your regular SATA drives. This one was a little bit more robust, and these are the drives that it's using. This setup is in RAID 5. So what that means is you've got three drives total, two drives are data, and one drive is parity. So when any of these drives dies, you actually continue to function with no interruptions. So RAID is not backup, but it is redundancy, so it keeps things working better. You have to have a separate backup so that you don't lose information, because if two drives die, then you're hosed. I'll mention another type of RAID, which is RAID 0, which is no redundancy, just a speed increase. So you could actually have two drives and do them in a RAID 0, and it would write one bit to this one, and then one bit to this one, and go back and forth and read that way as well. And it actually speeds things up almost 100%. The only downside, you have twice the chance of failure. And if a RAID 0 fails, it's all gone. Make sure you do your backups.